This is how I remade Raft Wars in Unreal Engine. Oh, uh, wrong clip. Let's try that again. Hello everyone, and welcome to Raft Wars Remastered. I'm excited to share with you how I remade this classic game with modern graphics. Before we begin, I would like to give a quick shout out to my Patreon supporters. Without their help, this project wouldn't have been possible. If you're interested in supporting me and getting access to special perks like the project files, one week early access to all future projects, and the ability to contribute in developer discussions, then please check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. And thank you very much to all my existing patrons. Now, let's dive into the process of remastering Raft Wars. To recreate the beloved game of Raft Wars in Unreal Engine, I started by creating a new project with the third-person template. To achieve the 2D style view present in the original game, I made adjustments to the third-person blueprint template's camera view, setting it to the side rather than allowing the user to move it around, which gave it a 2.5D look, adding depth to the world. Next, I utilized Unreal Engine's inbuilt projectile motion function to predict the trajectory of the projectile before shooting, allowing me to recreate the iconic red dot seen in the original game. Unfortunately, I stumbled upon an issue when I tried adding red spheres representing the red dots. I fixed it relatively quickly, though. As it turned out, since I'm using a spline to represent the projectile prediction, the game was creating 3D objects along the spline every frame, rather than using the same set for all the frames. I then added a glowing red laser material to the spheres and a strength meter that the player can control in-game. All I needed now was a model instead of Unreal's default placeholder. Using Blender, I got started on designing the first baby. Modeling him was pretty easy. I went off the original game's model. After all, he's just six stretched spheres. I then used this as the base for all my future characters. I added his eyes, hair, and diaper. I rigged the baby, including his inverse kinematics. After rigging the baby model, I imported the character to Mixamo where I could browse through hundreds of animations I could potentially use for the project. Of course, though, I only needed a few animations such as carrying a weapon and knockback animations. I imported the first baby character, along with all of its animations, into the game. To fully integrate the baby character, I replaced the third-person template character mesh with the baby character and created a basic animation blueprint that holds the idle and knockback animations. I wrote several functions within the character blueprint that are really important to the character. To begin with, I added the ability to knockback the character in any direction, depending on the direction of the projectile that hit them. I also created a health bar for the character and implemented a damage player functionality, which lowers the character's health based on each weapon. I then created a kill player function, which is called once the player's health reaches zero. I also created a collision box that is placed in the sea, which the character overlaps with once they fall off their raft. This results in the character being automatically killed. Now I needed the rest of my characters completed Looking at the original Flash game, these were the screenshots I had to work off. I used the first baby I modeled as a base and added all the necessary accessories. The Vikings had their helmets, the pirates their eye patches, and the thugs their mean look. This was the end result. I tried importing my models into Unreal and... This wasn't supposed to happen. For some reason, all my models had their heads flipped 180 degrees. My solution was to just go to Blender and flip them before importing... Success! This was a very rudimentary fix. If anyone knows why this happened, I'd appreciate it if you leave a comment. Continuing my efforts to recreate Raft Wars in Unreal Engine 5, I began searching on Sketchfab for suitable models to use for the game's rafts. For starters, I was searching for an inflatable duck that the baby can float on, similar to the one in the original game. But I stumbled upon a different kind of duck that transcends our reality. Um, anyways... I don't want to bore you guys with more details, so I'll stop here. If you're interested in a second part, then let me know in the comments section below. Have a good one. Buh bye Ouch! Shit!
Yeah. Ouch. Ouch.